So this will be my week one update. Show you what's going on here. So I've got uh, this is the pick 18, and I've got it on this breakout board that I etched. Uh, did that uh, probably the first day we talked, and then um, down here I've got a 20 megahertz oscillator. It's actually a resonator. Slight difference, I suppose. Uh, and these lines here are the port D outputs. Four of them anyway. This is a power indicator. Some uh, decoupling capacitors here and here. This is a USB breakout board. It's just a USB mini that I broke out to individual pins so I could put them on the breadboard. And so what I'm going to show you for this week is um, basically being able to talk to this chip directly with USB without any kind of converter chip in between. Um, so I've done projects where I talked to USB before, but I always used an FTDI logic chip that would uh, translate from RS-232 type serial um, to USB. So uh, this time we want to do without all those extra components and we want to talk directly to USB. So I'll go ahead and um, plug it in here. If I can get it in there. So the blinking lights indicate that the USB is configured, and I don't know if you could hear on the computer, it made the characteristic uh, USB detected noise. So I'll go ahead and pull up my uh, terminal window here. You can see it's spitting out hello world all over the place. So it's a pretty good start. Uh, the next step will be to uh, take input over the USB and then output it over the uh, wireless setup, which I'm working on over here right now, so the receiver and the transmitter. But I'll cover that next week. All right, there you go.